Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Fire Force Season 2, which is on episode 3, or you can call it Enen no Shobutai ni no Sho, you know? Anyways, um, or you can call it like um, episode 27 overall in the total number of episodes of Fire Force, you know, etc. Anyways, this episode right here looks like to me we get the introduction of a new girl, which apparently looks like it's the fifth pillar, and people call her the best girl for some reason. Although, like, um, I don't know. The way how she is, I guess it looks really nice and carefree in a certain way, but it looks like to me it's leaving her open for other disasters because other things alone. But if anything else, let's just get this started. Shinra makes a report with the old man of the 4th Division and everything about and apologizes what happened here and there. And of course when he made the information about like the 5th pillar will be born, you know, that kind of thing. He tells Shinra, this is not something you should be taking lightly about. You should go take a look and find a way how to fix this, alright? And eventually, he, Shinra will later on report to Obi, etc. And he will, etc. Et where Obi will report to the Fire Force director, you know? Or some kind of, like, um, higher up that that's usually in control of the Fire Force um, sector alone, etc. You know? But, aside from that, um... Eventually, of course, he's gonna have to, like, um, work on his own to figure out how to, like, um find a way how to handle this himself because all the other Fire Force division, divisions may not believe such thing easily and convincing them otherwise is going to be a hard time so Fire Force Division 8 is given permission to act on what they believe was right. Eventually we get to see a new, we get to see the girl like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode and her name is Inka. She's a pink haired girl, school, school girl I guess and it looks like to me she's able to notice where the fires will start. Like she figured out where the fire will start at a certain house and he, she will later on take money from an old man and get cops for, for rescuing him, you know, that kind of thing. Eventually, she will later on talk about like um, the generations of fire generations of her of everyone's abilities, you know, like um, we see like um, the first generations are becoming infernos through human combustion. The second generations can manipulate, fl manipulate and control flames. Third generation people can ignite their own flames and alter their force and shape. I apparently can't really do any of that, and I can only sniff out where they are, and I might be a fourth generation kind of thing, you know. Eventually, she realizes that there's more fire going to spread out, and Fire Force Division 8 is on the road to, like, I'm trying to save as many people and stop the Infernos from causing any more damage, or save, stop the Infernos from causing damage, etc., and save as many people as they can. As for Inka, you know, her backstory is a little, like, I'm short, forgive me for being very disorganized. I mean, like, um, she lost everything when she was mud, possibly around a young age, or maybe around a teenager age, but she's, she has the ability to actually, like, um, sense where the fires will go after her, and where it will start, or where it will blow up, you know? Not to mention, like, um, when it came to, like, um, figuring out the fires here and there, she ends up saying, oh, the fire's gonna start there, the fire's gonna start there, start there, 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 there. But apparently, we have to it that there's more to it than her sensing fires, apparently. And I'll get to that in just a moment. I mean, like, um, you know, Fire Force Division 8, as I said, they're on the road to try to rescue people and stop the Infernos from causing collateral damage. And we have to it that the Evangelius that has, like, um... Caron and what's the other guy's name? Um, Caron and Hagma, uh, Hama, Hamia, which apparently has the ability of electricity or something. She ends up saying like, "Oh, look, um, there's a girl on the top of the, on top of the hill, you know." And we have to it that Caron, on the other hand, was told to like um go visit, go visit, go visit her there, you know. And we have to it that um Caron, on the other hand. Charon, on the other hand, realizes, like, um, oh, so, like, um, that person's over there, huh? Etc. And Charon reaches her and realizes that he recognizes Inca as the fifth pillar and asks her to come with him, you know? And we have two that the there were two there were two people that were accompanying Inca to get some money, you know, or make money profits, you know? And we see to it that the guy, the guy, one of Inca's friends, or one of Inca's acquaintances, I guess, ends up saying, hey, who are you, you know, and the guy, Caron, he just literally killed the guy right off the bat saying, hey, don't touch me kind of thing, and kills him, and we have to, that Inca ends up not realizing that she ends up using some kind of ability, like, there's like some kind of starting thing that she sees, and then, the, the, and then there's a goal, you know, it's really complicated, she sees these things, she ends up doing some kind of weird sign language, and it ends up blowing up on Caron, you know, and she ends up doing it again, and ends up blowing hit, blowing Caron up again, and he realizes, 
Wow, you found your fire ignition ability. Anyways, you're coming with me. But we have to it that, like, um, Shinra arrives on the scene to, like, um, to stop Charon, you know? And Shinra says, anyway, hey, I'm here to take you into custody, but Inka says, otherwise, no way, I'm going into custody. I'm thinking about my Shinra, you should have said, like, hey, I'm here to help you. Are you the fifth pillar by any chance? Here, let me help you out, kind of thing, you know? Yeah, stupid Shinra, you know? You want to act like a hero, but you act like you're so, some stinking, like, police force, which is... Not really a police force, but yeah. Aside from that, we have to it that um, that Shinra ends up taking on like um, Charon, and there's some chance that he ends up doing for some reason, and he ends up saying, "Oh, I get to see two pillars here. I'm gonna take them both, and we're gonna be very lucky." So yeah, he ends up starting up some chant chanting for his for example. He end while his crew ends up saying one. He says, "Charge him!" Two, charge him. Three, charge him, four, and then like um he makes another chant again, one overpower him, two overpower him, three overpower him, four, and then he ends up making a scream and punches Shinra so hard that Shinra gets blasted back, dude. I'm like, holy crap, this guy's not some simple not some freaking simple Evangelius. And Shinra tried to kick him with everything he's got, but it doesn't seem to affect him at all, or he's not even phased by it, you know? And he ends up giving Shinra a very hard time, like um the, the attacks that Shinra did on him, it's not even working on him at all, you know, that kind of thing. He says, I heard that you took on show here and there, but apparently you're just a simple fire rat. And we have to it that, like, um, um, Charon says, come on, little fi little filthy fire rat. Why don't you freaking, like, um, run, run, run fast with those feet that you're so proud of. And Shinra in total rage says, don't freaking, like, mess with me. There's no way I'm running... I'm running away from a gorilla bombshell like you, you hear me? And gets ready to fight him once again. Preview the next episode, it looks like to me that Evangelists are getting exactly what they want and the Infernals are starting to spread very badly and apparently Inca might be taken into custody by Evangelius, I guess, but who knows what. But one thing for sure, like, um, trouble is on the horizon in the next episode, but it looks like to me there might be other allies coming about, but we'll have to see. Anyways... This episode right here, Inca, my gosh, is she, she is the fifth pillar? Dang, dude, it's like she's able to sense fires, but she doesn't really know that she's the one causing them at the same time, because the way how it was shown in the episode, it looks like, I don't know, she ends up using the start and goal line, and all of a sudden it's actually hitting Charon, and it, but it's not really doing much on him. He goes like, she goes like, huh, what's going on here, kind of thing, you know? So... Looks like to me she has a ability to sense where fires are at. At the same time, she can like um set bomb bomb attacks on a person, like what she did to Charon. As for Charon, that guy's a total different story. I mean, the way how he's doing, making those chants or something, it looks like to me he gotten really strong from it and manages to give Shinra a hard time. So pretty much, like Charon, he's a freaking attacking tank or offensive tank. Like he could take damage and he could. He could take on damage and he could like um give damage to the person really badly. I'm thinking in my mind, my gosh, man, what the hell is this guy? <laughs> so don't know what's really bound to happen next for Shinra and the others. And the due to the preview next episode, it looks like it may not look so well for Shinra and Fire Force Division 8, you know? So we're gonna guess we'll have to find out next week. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot, toot, toot.